Welcome to another weekly edition of the Best Way to Smoke News, sponsored by none other than Cali God. Cali's Stop doing. smoking spit. And the news is being brought to you by Surfo Jr. and Big J. And this is a wonderful, wonderful story to me. New York State convicted him. Now it's made him a weed pioneer. Now that 50, he is returning to the industry, this time with the state's full support. <clears throat> Mr. Connor, who grew up in public housing in Far Rockray, Queens, opened a dispensary on Tuesday in Greenwich Village under a state's initiative to give people convicted of offenses related to cannabis a head start in the newly legal business. The Shop Smack is just the second licensed store to open since the state legalized recreational cannabis in March of 2021. But Mr. Connor is the first entrepreneur with the marijuana conviction to open a dispensary as a result of the initiative, which is being watched across the country. Now that's wonderful to me, mm -hmm. you know, and, 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 and it's even better that it's a brother, you know, and it's like for you to be convicted of something. And it's like now that like, all right, certain thing is legal to a certain extent. And it's like, all right, I can come back. I may not be able to be, this perfect welder over here. Mm -hmm. Oh, I may not be able to be this perfect um, architect over here, mm -hmm. but look, I can I'm be an entrepreneur. Yep. I can open this shop right here, you know, and I can I can deliver, you know, good quality medical. Mm -hmm. Congrats to the brother. Yeah, and yeah, I th I think that shit is dope too, though, man, because um, it shows that the the equity program, even if it's not working, like. Vastly, mm -hmm. it's it's still working though for some people, yeah. and that's good. You know, at least that some people is trickling in to benefit off of that. And know? another thing, and it's, and it's like as they say, this is being watched across the country. You know, actually, people across the country watch it because it, it he tell, he letting you know just because you convicted of something, you know, you can't go out there and do it. Yeah. You know, just because he made it right here inside the little cannabis like world or whatever it may be, that's not the only lane that like. Like we as convict, convicted personnel can do, you know what yeah. I'm saying? That's just. And what he mean by looking. convicted first personnel? He mean convicted felons. So oh, yeah. I know some of y'all didn't catch that. You know what <laughs> I mean, all right, moving on. Man, <laughs> Massachusetts recreational marijuana sales have officially exceeded four billion. State regulators announced as of January 12th, the state saw four, over four million dollars in gross cannabis sales, according to data from the Cannabis Control Commissions. This comes less than a year after Massachusetts hit the three billion mark, demonstrating, demonstrating continued growth in the industry. The state currently has 265 retailers and 14 delivery service operators and regulators track the published data on sales through the commission's open data platform in 2022 alone, the state sold over $1 billion worth of marijuana, which, you know, that, that, you know, that's a good thing, I believe, you know what I'm saying? But to me, it's just like how many of the people that's really been affected by the shit, you know, is getting the opportunity, you know, to get some of them billions, you know what I mean? Like, uh. what's the percentage rate on, the, you know, on the people like us that's being able to touch them opportunities and stuff though, you know? That's something to look into. Yes, sir. Moving on. Air Wellness backs off from 55 million cannabis retail acquisition in Chicago. Mm. Multi-state operator Air Wellness said it has canceled an acquisition of Chicago cannabis retail operator Dispensary 33, citing changing market condition. Miami-based Airy described the decision to terminate the deal as mutual, according to a Friday news release. Aries' proposal of acquisition of Dispensary 33 and its two Chicago retail locations was originally announced November of 2021. The $55 million price tag was to be satisfied by cash, seller notes, and Ari shares. Ari did not specify any termination fees to be paid in relation to the deal's cancellation. So this is like, you know, like a, a, a big old, big old pump up case. Yeah. You know, I'm finna pump you, pump you, pump you on up. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And then once we get there, it's like, ah, uh, um, what had happened was, huh. you know what I'm saying? And yep. it's like, and, and since one half, what had happened was 
you know, the other one who was like full force, you know what I'm saying, with it. It's like, man, this should be some type of penalty for this mm -hmm. shit. You know what I'm saying? We get up right up in here and try to do it. We getting ready to hit this little deadline and whatever it may be. And then what had happened was, what had happened, motherfucker. Man, moving on, moving on. San Diego supervisors set lowest cannabis tax rate in the county. San Diego cannabis dispensaries in San Diego backcountry will pay some of the lowest taxes on such businesses in the county. After the board supervisor set tax rate, they said would allow the businesses to compete with those in neighboring cities. The board will vote whether to authorize the cannabis tax ordinance on February 28. If they finalize their approval, then the tax will take effect April 1st with the first payments due in July. So, you know, that's definitely, that's good for San Diego. That's good for them, them businesses out there because, you know, we talk about it all the time with all these different, um, the regulations, the taxes and stuff like that that these these cities is regulating or putting into force for these companies to pay, these cannabis companies to pay, it's definitely a good thing that San Diego is taking this push to allow um, them to pay, you know, the cannabis businesses there to pay a lower tax. Mm. You feel me? To keep their doors open, keep people employed and all that good shit, man. So that's definitely a plus, Yeah, man. that's super cool because it's like, it was the time I was doing a job down there. This is like when thing, this is like when we had our recreational cards and stuff, going to different dispensaries, getting that first time patient type right. deal. You know, and I was down there and they had people out there protesting, like cannabis use out here, no. Right. Get that shit up out of here. Yeah. You know, and, and to see that cannabis, I mean, not cannabis, but San Diego, they, they walk that walk. You know what I'm saying? And it's like, it seemed like they on the up and up for it. Yep, and they should be they should be a um, a trailblazer for everybody else mm -hmm. to jump on board to do some shit like that, though. Yeah, shout out to on. San Diego. Yep, yep. U.S. FDA calls for new regulatory framework for the use of compound CBD. The U.S. Food and Drug Administration said on Thursday it does not intend to make any new guidance on the use of the popular cannabis compound CBD in food and supplements, saying the United States need to develop a new framework to ensure its safe use. Hmm. The health the health regulator said it would work with Congress to develop a new cross agency regulatory framework. The FDA denied three citizens three citizen petitions that had requested the agency to provide guidance, hmm. and it's like. I'm guessing that they trying to, you know, regulate this right here because a lot of the CBD usage is coming through the foods, you know, and it's like I watch food shows <laughs> involving cannabis, mm -hmm. you know, and a lot of it is used with CBD, mm -hmm. you know, and it, it's, it's relaxing. It's not high. You're not getting, you're not getting, you're not getting wasted, yep. you know, but if you trying to say relaxation is a high, what the fuck is meditation? Man. You know what I'm saying? I'm relaxing. You know what I'm saying? But it's like, it's crazy that like, all right, you 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 trying to attack the THC end of it, and then you trying to come over the CBD right there. I like, like as we stated, I thought it was like to heal you, mm -hmm. to help you. You know what I'm saying? But if you are going to regulate it, I mean, at least like, <laughs> let us have our leeway, man. <laughs> man, for real, for real. I could dig it. That's the best way to smoke news with Circo Jr. Big J. Baby, baby. Yes, yes.